Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at the Wild Pass Studios Tonantosaurus Serenity. This neat little figure is available through Shapeways. For those of you unfamiliar what Shapeways is, it is a site where users can upload their 3D files and Shapeways will 3D print them to order. So when I saw Wild Past uploaded a 3D render of a Tonantosaurus to Shapeways, I immediately jumped on it because I've been wanting a good Tonantosaurus figure for a very long time. There's really not much to choose from. Collect A has a very outdated one. And probably the best Tanata source that we have right now is the one from Rebor, but that thing is just a bloody corpse. So let's pull this little figure in closer before I paint it up. I will show off the painted version a little bit later on in this video. So when you order this figure from Shapeways, it gives you a couple different options of what material you want to it printed it and what color. I think the options for this one was white or black. And you also have the option to get it solid or hollow i end up going for the solid version if you want to go for the hollow version it's a few bucks cheaper i think this one was 22 dollars, and the hollow version is around 18 bucks but uh all in all it is a really nicely uh 3d printed figure it's a little rough around the edges the details aren't as uh fine as i would like it but i think you have the option to pick different materials to get it finer as you upgrade the materials. It gets a little bit more expensive to print, but I do like painting uh, dinosaur figures, so this is definitely right up my alley. Um, just a couple rough spots, like on the nose and stuff, so I'm going to have to sand some of it down, but it has that really, really nice-looking long Tanatosaurus tail. So, all in all, a pretty cool-looking figure. So, let's get this thing painted up and see what it looks like completed. All right, let's get this thing painted up. I'll be using the Apple Barrel acrylic paints. You can find these paints at Walmart. They go for like 50 cents a tube. So first I'm gonna prime it. I'm gonna use the base color of antique white and just give it a nice coat of primer paint. I didn't thin the paint a little bit with water. So after this is all primed and ready, we can start coloring this figure in. Now that the figure is primed, you can see that paint brought out a lot of the detail on this figure. You can see a lot of nice folds and wrinkles and some really nice detail on here. So let's start with the main body coloration. I'll be using uh, Nutmeg Brown. And now that we got the tail pattern painted in, just start painting the main color of the body. And some stripes for the legs. Use a toothpick to dot the eye with some black paint. And I'm just using a little bit of gray to highlight the beak. And I repainted in the nails on the hands and feet. And here is the Tanatosaurus fully painted up. And the last thing you want to do is give your figure a nice coating of clear coat to protect all your hot work. Because if you don't do that, the paint is going to chip like crazy. I like using Tester's Dull Coat. There's a lot of companies that make that matte uh, clear coat finish. But it always gives them that slightly glossy look. Ever since I switched to Tester's, the uh, clear coat looks absolutely fantastic on all the figures I coat with. You don't get any of that shiny look to it so yeah i really enjoyed this little painting project i am quite pleased how this little tanathosaurus turned out once you get some paint on the figure there is some really nicely finely uh printed detail on this model you get some nice folds and wrinkles along the back you got some actually some osteoderms you can see along the side of the neck uh going up to just before the head so yeah all in all a really nice model and it actually does have a cloaca slit. I just gave it a little dot of black paint. I didn't want to smear it with brown and make it look like a collect a model. But uh, yeah, pretty cool looking figure. So let's just take out the old ruler here after my camera refocuses and just see how big this figure is. It's just about seven inches tall and just about one and a half inches tall to the top of the head. So on the Shapeways website, this is listed as a 135 scale figure. Tanatosaurus in real life was somewhere between 21 and 26 feet long. So if you use that lower size estimate of 21 feet, that would put this figure in that 135 scale range. If you use the larger estimate, it puts it closer to that 145 scale range. 
So let's move on with some comparisons. Here is the only other Tanatosaurus figure I have in my collection. This is the one from Rebor that goes with the diorama display with the Deinonychus and Acrocanthosaurus. So it is nice to have a Tanatosaurus in my collection that is not absolutely ripped to shreds. And speaking of Deinonychus, here is one of the Deinonychus that comes with that diorama display from Rebor. As you can see, this Deinonychus is way, way too big to scale with this Tanatosaurus. And since we have talking about Deinonychus, here's the one from Safari Limited. So maybe in the uh, future, uh, Wild Pass can uh, upload a couple small Deinonychus figures to go along with this Tanatosaurus. I think that would be really great. And here it is with the only fully painted Wild Past figure currently available. Here is their 135 scale Protoceratops. And I did talk to the creator of this line. Uh, these Shapeway ones are meant to kind of be like a supplement to the Wild Past line. The fully painted figures are made out of a uh, much more flexible material like this Protoceratops is made out of a softer rubber material. The material on this Tanatosaurus is very uh, rigid, so if you uh, bend that tail a little bit, you will snap it off, so this is definitely something you want to paint and display and not really mess around with too much, because I do feel like the thinner pots can definitely snap off on this figure. And speaking of Protoceratops, here is the other figure I ordered from the Shapeway store. This is their female protoceratops which i will eventually be painting up to go alongside this one from the line so yeah pretty cool figure i really like it like i said i've been wanting a good tanatosaurus for a while and this is a great sculpt if you're handy with a paintbrush this is definitely something you should consider picking up um if you're really not great at painting i know my figure is not the best looking um maybe someday this will make it into the regular line fully painted I'll leave a link in the description to Wild Pass Shapeway Store. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this figure I got it cast uh, in solid material. Cost around $22. Bucks. There's a hollow option for around $18. The female Protoceratops is also on there. And there's also a pair of Velociraptors. So I do hope Wild Pass continues to release uh, 3D renders to Shapeways because I do like the fact of ordering 3D printed figures and give them my own paint schemes. It just kind of gives you a chance to kind of customize the figures in your collection so i am very excited for the future of this line so that would do it for the review when uh, i get around to painting this protoceratops i'll do a full review on that and i also have a couple of figures i got from a uh, kayakosaurus that i have half painted so when i eventually get to those expect videos on those also and as always if you're enjoying the content on this channel show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and it's greatly appreciated i'll see you guys for the next one